What's the deal? This is the boy Don McLean at Domain McLean TV back again with another video. And shouts out to everybody subscribing to this channel. Hey man, y'all looking at my shirt look kind of dingy, man. I got coffee stains on without my kids all day, man. I took them to the splash pad to the park. We did a little bit of everything, man. So I mean, at the end of the day, we said let's shoot some videos. Let's try to get this content out, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Best way we can, any way we can, let's get this content out. All right. So today's video is going to be about a few things. Uh, first thing I want to touch on is uh, how Blueface is making a comeback. You know what I'm saying? I thought he fell off. Here's the thing about, you know, uh, celebrities. I really think a lot of other celebrities need to do what he's doing. Just become personalities. Like, I don't see why Takashi 6 9 isn't a personality right now. Takashi 6 9 started his own YouTube channel, posted video, people will watch him. But when you sign to a label, they control what you do. That's why I say don't sign no contracts. Don't sign to these labels because you start signing to them, they will be controlling what you do and how you do it. You can't even make a YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? He probably got to call it Takashi. Can't even call it Takashi. You know what I'm saying? But Blueface making a comeback. He on Zeus Network. Zeus Network. Now, Zeus Network, I really feel like they got an agenda to push. I feel like Zeus Network worked heavy close with, you know, a certain group of uh, people. And uh, they they really out here making black people look really, really, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all the ratchetness on that channel, on that on that station, I mean. Drama sales. Hey, I can't help it, but drama sales. And this has been a hustle people been doing for years. All the love and hip hops. It started with Real World. But Zeus Network is making my people look, you know what I'm saying, different. You know what I'm saying? But I, I heard Blueface is on the show. His girlfriend's on the show. You know what I'm saying? And um, his girlfriend, she's a... Uh, I guess she's just making noise about being his girlfriend. That's why a lot of these women out here be getting up with these celebrity guys because they use them as leverage to up their, their value, you know what I'm saying, up themselves. But um, his girlfriend, she all right, she all right, whatever. But she got a show, and I think him and her are going to get their own show. I don't know. Would anybody want to watch it? Maybe, because like he keeps a lot of drama in his life. But to me personally, I, I'm happy for the dude because at least you're still getting paid. But uh, I, I hit, for, far as a music career, he's done for. You know what I'm saying? Blueface ain't going to have nothing coming back until Castatiana was it for him. You know what I'm saying? Whack 100 doing his thing with him. He's like, hey, you, your music sucks. So the best thing you can do is to um, entertain. Be a personality. Be on TV. Let's get on Zeus. Let's do celebrity boxing. Let's do everything besides make music. But uh, I will say Blueface is making a strong comeback just because he's just around. You know, he's on the shade room popping up. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know he's doing that with the, with the girl. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, he's doing his thing. But far as musically, that's it for him. Now, another thing I want to blog on, because I know I can't do a, too much of a long video on it, was uh, Angela Yee leaving the Breakfast Club. You know what I'm saying? The Breakfast Club separating. I'm not going to miss that show. I didn't like the Breakfast Club. I never was a fan of it. I remember when it first came here to North Carolina and uh, on the Southeast, our radio station is Fox 99. So Charlotte, when Breakfast Club came to Fox 99, before that, we had the Tom Joyner show. Now, the Tom Joyner show was more Christian friendly. You know what I'm saying? It was more family order oriented. There won't no agendas being pushed. There was never no talks and no YAG stuff or man on man stuff. But there was, you know, just it was just good, good radio. So I used to listen to it every morning when the Breakfast Club came and they got rid of that. I couldn't listen to it every morning. Every morning, Charlemagne will bring up a man's uh, private area every morning. I'm talking every morning. Charlemagne brought that up, y'all. I ain't got to make that up. I stopped listening to the Breakfast Club because of that. I'm like, why he bringing up another man's private area every video? Then you start watching the episodes, you see how Charlemagne moving. Charlemagne is actually a charlatan. He's actually, his real name is Charlotte. Like, he's on some female weird stuff. Man on man stuff. That stuff is weird. Like, why you, it's six in the morning, man. Why you talking about, all? he just was weird, man. I ain't like the Breakfast Club. I don't like DJ Envy. You know what I'm saying? It's that, I, ain't, I ain't like Angela Yee either. I couldn't stand her. I remember one time we watching the show not watching the show, they doing the show and this person is saying mess around. She want to say S-E-X. She kept saying it because she knows that's like a trigger word. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop being extra. Stop being extra. Then she was just so messy. That whole show was messy, man. I didn't like none of them shows. My favorite episode was with Birdman. With Birdman. That's my favorite episode. With Birdman. Now, they got some some gems. They got the Soldier Boy episode. Drake? Soldier, that's, that's, um, Soulja Boy's a plant too. 
You know what I'm saying? I feel like he is, but they got a, a couple of classics. The Birdman that um I don't I ain't watched too many of them. It's a lot of them ain't it's good. I think I'd rather watch a Vlad TV, you know, uh Say Cheese. I'd rather watch, you know, um who else? I don't really like Adam 22 like that, but I'd rather watch them. But Breakfast Club, I could care less about them separating because I don't care about none of them. I really want to say what I want to say, but we on a monetized channel, so it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else is in the news? I think that's pretty much about it for this video. Blueface made a comeback. The Breakfast Club broke up. Yeah, man, that's pretty much about it. Like I said, we're going to keep blogging, keep putting this information out, putting keep putting this content out. And I'm going to think of some stuff to, to make a video for y'all. Y'all leave it in the comment section, which I want me to blog on, because I'm in a blogging spirit. It's blah, 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 blah. Like the videos too, man. Like the videos, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I can only do limited woke content on here, because I'm trying to keep my monetization. So if you want some woke stuff, go to my main channel. But we can talk woke stuff on here as well. All right, y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. It's the Boy Women Claim, the Women Claim TV. Be blessed. You be safe. I'm out.